Dr. Arikana, the fearless tigress of the African race, ran down to Burkina Faso to pour out her unalloyed solidarity for Thomas Sankara's twin brother in the name of President Ibrahim Tauri. The manner in which her speech was delivered was so unusual as all you see is the peak of happiness to the military leader that the people of Burkina Faso actually appreciated above the democratically elected ones. So today, we're going to be looking at what she said while she was in Burkina Faso that shook the whole world. Yeah. And the reactions of Mr. Cetra's clientelians or clientels to the various happenings right now in Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger. Many of us were told, don't go to Burkina Faso. It's a war-torn country. Guns all over the streets. Mr. President, we want you to know that the more they told us not to go to Burkina Faso, the more we ran to Burkina Faso. <laughs> Being here in the country of the upright man, is a dream come true. To President Traore, the reincarnation of, of Thomas Sankara. <laughs> President Traore, who has led the struggle to complete the unfinished business that was started by our ancestors and our Pan-African leaders in 1963 when they created the Organization of African Unity. During that meeting, they demanded the creation of an Africa that spoke with one voice, an Africa that was united. That journey is yet to be finished. What is happening in Burkina Faso in Mali, in Niger, is just the beginning of a revolution that is way past due for Africa. <laughs> Africa must unite, and Burkina Faso has shown us the way. They have opened the doors, they have shown us that the bully can be defeated. Yeah. That no more shall we continue to give up our lunch. That we too need to eat. And therefore, there is no negotiating with the bully. The bully had to go, and Burkina Faso showed us how to do it. So, Mr. President, I bring you your children, descendants of the formerly enslaved. They have waited over 400 years to return the spirits of their ancestors back home to Africa. When the children of Africa were taken out of Africa as slaves, all they ever wanted to do was to come back home to Africa. Each and every one of them that you see, many of them are coming to Africa for the first time. They are bringing with them the spirits of their ancestors to put them to rest here in Burkina Faso. And that's one mission number one. Mission number two, we have watched you, Mr. President, you stand for everything that we have hoped for in an African man. <laughs> Courageous, fearless, and in their faces. France, An 
apologetically, you told France, pack your bags and go home. You, Mr. President, and the people of Burkina Faso have done it, and we have a responsibility to support you. Yes. You have over 300 million African diaspora who are looking up to you. We are here to show you that we are with you, we support you, we are behind you, and we will not let you down. Many of us were told, don't go to Burkina Faso. It's a war-torn country, guns all over the street. Mr. President, we want you to know that the more they told us not to go to Burkina Faso, the more we ran to Burkina Faso. <laughs> no one tells them not to go to Europe to their countries of origin. Therefore, no one will tell us not to come home to Burkina Faso. So mission number two is to let you, Mr. President, know that you and the citizens of Burkina Faso have done all the heavy lifting. The least we can do is to support you. So we are here. Our third mission is to see what can we do, Mr. President, to play our part in building the Burkina Faso we want. Good day everyone, this is Dasha, the most handsome, yakable African nations, and I'm Pompey, a physical man, husband. And as usual, I have beside me my most scintillating pepperoni, shigalicious, hot baby, okyo pyo. Yeah, good day everyone, and you're most welcome to the Cetra's Blood family today. I remain Jacket Oluani Petro. It's a pleasure having you around on this channel today, and if this is your first time, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I want to say a big thank you to all that have been doing this. Yes, it's happening. Our African tigresses at eat again, Dr. Arikana gave it to them, pan, pan, to Mr. Cedro's clientele. And she said, this is who we have been waiting for, the reincarnated Thomas Sankara. Hey, yeah, yeah. What will you say to that, Dr. Cedro? Ah. <laughs> Number one, thank you for giving me the doctorate of Enolora. <laughs> now, all you people from the Sahara region, you are beginning to irritate my clientele. Because it's like if people are trying, you are purposely doing this. It's not like you love the people. You are just purposely doing all this good to your citizens so that they can be spiting us. Sorry, so that I can be spiting my, my clientele. And it is a very bad thing. Why not maintain the normal necessary standard that will make you to be the above all level? You want to do everything at once just to spite us. It's not, it's not nice. And this woman coming from America to come and be, if, he, if, if Africa is so sweet, why can she not stay in Africa? And <laughs> she's coming to tell you that uh, you are doing great, you are doing well. Don't fall for that. Though. How many of them can support you when my clientele comes for you? Uh, sorry, when they come to greet you. Mm, you just said it all. We know they will come. Mm. And Yes. Read my lips. When my clientele decide to come to you, not come for you. Ah. Or they might have it in their mind to come for you. When they decide <laughs> to come for you, all these people speaking English, what can they do? Mm. But it's just that you are systematically romancing with one bad boy that we don't like to mention his name. That's why we have been watching. Because <laughs> we know that that boy took get weapon. <laughs> All these ones that are coming to sing English, they are only the only weapon they have is their mouth. Yes, they only have mouth weapon. But because you have that one that has kettle too, <laughs> we are looking at you and like if we do cuckoo, -cu -cu, we do kettle too. <laughs> That bad boy that we don't want to mention his name. Well, all the same, let me just tell you. 
Ibrahim Traore, my client, they are watching you. Yeah, continue watching. In Yoruba, they call him Masu. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, we want to really say we appreciate Dr. Arikana's visit to Burkina Faso at this time. They said, don't go Point there. Point of correction. You say you appreciate. What is your business, visit? please? Because I'll... me, I do not appreciate a visit. My clientele are so angry that why would she come all the way from Obodo Imbo from abroad to come back to Africa to come and be hugging somebody that has the characteristics of a dictator? Because a dictator is, according to my clientele's dictionary, a dictator is someone that refuses to follow the normal life plan and start doing things to buy the mind of the people, start doing good road for them, building five, 50,000 houses just like that. Where did he get money from? You people are not even asking questions. It's because he has intention. He has intention. He's a dictator. He wants to dictate how you people will spend your money. Tell him no. No, that money for those good roads, that money for those wonderful, wonderful places that he's trying to build. I heard that he's not even collecting salary. All those money that is there, he's just trying to buy your mind so that by the time he now come up and say, yes, I'm a dictator, you people say, eh, we like him. Don't follow dictator. Follow my clientele's path. Democracy, demons that is inside craziness. I'm sorry, demonstration of Christ. Hmm? Crass. Crass means fine nonsense. <laughs> Can you see how, if, as if you, you looked at, maybe you just took a minute or to look at my face. I have been looking at I you. I know that you are tripping for me. That's how, <laughs> that's what she, whenever she's tripping for me, that ah, this my husband is so lovely. That's how she looks. But let me tell you, Thomas Sankara, sorry, Ibrahim Traore, be careful. Don't see. fall for the flattery of people. All these people that are coming, they don't reside in Africa. It is people like us that reside in Africa. That can tell you the truth. You see, uh, uh, listening to Dr. Arikana's mm, speech. Arikana. What is your own? Please, will you allow me to The man is annoying my clientele. Will you allow me to learn? She, she's, she's supporting, she's supporting somebody that is a dictator that is providing good things for the people. So she don't should support your puppets. Don't follow that. That are making life difficult the for the people. Dictators that are making things to be easy for people. They, do you know the meaning of dictators? Dictator is somebody that dictates. <clears throat> dictating all sorts of things that we, my clientele, were not dictating for you. They do not allow you to live the life that everybody is living in Africa. Now, you want to be dragging shirts, want to be dragging shirts with people abroad, want to have good roads without planning for it. You are supposed to plan for it like 50 years from now and you will have good. It's as if I should slap you, honestly. So sorry to say, but the like it is, it's peppering my body. As in, you, you, you know, I love for Africa. I love for Africa. You people are, you are playing with fire. You are playing with a dictator. Hmm. Okay, come talk now. You are playing with a dictator. That's how dictators start. They will be giving you good Okay, coaches. like the one we have at Rwanda, Paul Kigame. That one, Rwanda, a, that, that one is a dictator. That is now one of the cleanest cities in the world. That one is a dictator. He's and dictating it, cleanliness. Why would somebody be dictating cleanliness to his people? It's wrong. And hmm? it, people and have the choice. You can either make a country dirty, you can either make a street like dirty. Like what we have. It's your free choice. Where we don't want to mention now. Because we have puppets that are, that are loyal to your Please, whenever I get to this point, we need to go for <laughs> Yes, it's high time we went for a break and we'll be back in a TV. <laughs> Do you run a business that requires a warehouse space for your goods? Or yours is just the quest to have a central point where your goods can be delivered to your customers at ease? Regardless of the size of your business, we have got a space for you. As we have pallet spaces for small business owners, open large stories for your goods or product, maybe you are even the Odogu Patakmata of them all, that you need a self-storage warehouse with your assets kids in your hands. Our signature logistics has got you covered as we have numerous automated offloading and unloading equipment for hire. So, why do we wait? Give us a call today and experience warehousing solutions at its peak. Our signature logistics providing cutting-edge warehousing solutions for you. <laughs> now that you're coming back from the break, let me tell you, let me break this for you. If you vote 
or you are following a dictator. Hmm, you are in soup. It's a futuristic soup. Because 100 years from now, the dictator might change from what the Google did. Sorry. Please. Have you heard what Dr. Arikana said? What she said, you? she said, mm. Ibrahim Tari has shown us that the bully can be what? Can be what? Can be curtailed. We can say enough. You can't bully us again. Go and sit down. You can't. Point of correction. Can't bully. My, my, can't say, my clientele is not bullying anybody. We don't bully anybody. What we are only doing is that we are buying. And sorry, continue. You are what? We are I want. I, it was a slip of tea too. You are we are buying your loyalty, but it was a slip of tea. You know, that's what you are actually. We are double talked because no. when they pay you, maybe they don't pay you a balance. You now let out their secret. That is what out. you are doing. My client, yeah, please explain this. Please, edit, edit or cut this part so that I can collect my balance from my clientele. <laughs> what I meant to say is that <laughs> all these people. Ibrahim Traore, uh, uh, what's his name again? That bully, that bully that is in uh, Rwanda. Uh, <laughs> Kagame, Kagame, Kagame. You know, you know, Kagame, 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 Kagame. Um, uh, what are all those their names in all this Sahel region? See, don't follow them. They are bullies. They bully you to do all these things that people are saying is good, good. What, what is happening to this society in Africa? All of you are just coming out and saying, ah, you are showing support for all this leader. Don't show support to somebody that is bullying you into good things. Let it come from your mind. They should not bully you to good things. They should not bully you to good role. That is where my clientele, they are always talking about freedom of expression. And you only get that in democracy. Yes, you choose few people to represent all of you. Yes. So that even if it takes them like 70 years to agree on something, you know that it's everybody that is agreeing. Yes! Then you plan, you can use five years to seven years to plan how to tie your road. Hmm. See, it is your collective decision. Not that one person will just say, this road must be tied. It's not good. It's that, not good. Thank God, that's what Dr. Ikan said, that it's all over, already over for your clientele. So that fun. we could have somebody as courageous, as bold as this, and we say, France, pack, pack your load, and they have no option than to what? Muje, do you know the meaning of Muje? And to pack their load. So, I before think you say so, let me respond to that because I will not be seated there. And my clientele, they are watching this video and they are saying, ah, ah, but we think this guy is not talking. See, let me tell you the reason why this small boy. Is standing up to tell my clientele, hello, Francais, and to Lomagun, to leave Burkina Faso. Ah, ah. It's, it's not because my, my clientele are afraid of, because normally when you say we should leave like that, they are not supposed to leave. It's just that we do not want trouble in that region. And, you know, the, 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 the fear of. Uh, I, you are the one that called the name, but all the same, the, it's like you are intelligent this morning. The fear of Putin is the beginning of wisdom. That's why we just left it there because we know Putin is a very, is a very stubborn, stubborn Guy. human being, and he's a dictator. He's dictating for his country. He wants to now start dictating in Africa. You people should not allow. Don't allow um, Muje. What's the name of the <laughs> I don't like why you are making me laugh. All the same, since you have made your choice, who am I to disrespect your choice? You have pursued my clientele from your from your this. But you know what? My clientele, they are working on how to make you see the reason why they should come back. Okay. That reason will never be seen. They are trying to make sure that you, you feel their presence. Oh, you, you miss them. You soon start missing Elo Francais. Good people on this channel, Africans, I think this victory is worth celebrating. And that's why Dr. Arikana had to come down all the way just to say, ah, Captain Ibrahim Tauri, we see what we're, we're doing. Although they tell us, don't come near here, we are coming and we are here. And she even came with some people and said, this is the first time they are stepping here. And they have come back to, to, to work out with all that their ancestors have given to them. And I think this is, we we are all are 
resources that have been repatriated, they have been sent back to us because the greatest of all resources are human resources. Mm. Yes. And that's yeah, yeah. what you people, mm. your clients here, do work against. They don't want us to have enabling environment here. They want all our great ends just to go away in search of greener pasture, which is not really green, but it's a red flag. So they keep tormenting them there. And while there are no good roads here, no uh, no good road network, no portable water, no no uh, electricity for the people to work and nothing good. So, but that narrative is already changing. The mm. status quo is changing. Mm. And that's why you're so sad. Yes, the, the fact We are not true. sad. Please, please, I let, me, let me be true. We are not sad. We are not just happy. You choose any of the above. We, we are not just happy mm. that you people are leaving us after we taught you how to use oh. fork, how to use knife, and you are supposed to be paying repair reparation fee yes reparation or repatriation it's like it's like even my client that they need to increase the salary they are paying me because now i'm beginning to feel like i should come over to burkina faso ah yes. don't let them be a please editor cut this part out so that i can still get my october balance you know christmas is around the corner the thing is what do you feel about what Dr. Arikana is I doing? I felt nothing. And the thing is... If is Arikana is serious, please. let her come back to Africa. Then what's the backup mechanism for Captain Ibrahim Torre? I see people going and saying, ah, the spirit of Thomas Sankara has been reincarnated and all the likes. And you know what happened to Thomas Sankara? Those that did it then, it's just my simple advice. They are not sleeping. But we are we watchful. And, and let me tell you, those that did it then, they were very, very close to him. And you people are now calling him Thomas Sankara. You want him to follow the path of Sankara? No. I pray that you people correct your statement. The because thing, the thing is because some of the people that are around you will know my clientele know how to credit their account. God will not allow it to work. Do you, do you know? Because Africa, don't let I don't want to shout. I just want to be smiling on this okay. topic. Please mind your mind your words. Okay. Please. People have suffered too much. Oh. And when you see real humans that have real love for the motherland and have real love for the people, you you see, it's just like Someone like me and most Africans, we are filled with the joy of the Lord. The yes, Holy Spirit has strength. Yeah. If not, if you want to look at what is happening, ah. your clientele, they are too, I don't know what to say about them, but we look away from them and we look up to the source of our joy. But what I'm just trying to say is that what's the backup mechanism for mm. Captain Ibrahim Tori? I hope we are not just just coming with words of mouth. Mm -hmm. I hope we are doing some spiritual activities mm. and we're also working working, working, not just we are balancing it and we, we are really watch the people of Burkina Faso, I hope you really love this captain mm. and not just to just let him uh, away like that and just let him around people, I hope we are really watching his back for him because these guys, they are not sleeping please let's do but you're not uh, pointing at yes, you. they are your clients this my client there, they are not sleeping yes. and some of you that are there beside him looking for how to sell it. Yes, like please. Judas. How to sell it. Like Judas please. is Carlos. Contact my... my pastor said Judas is Carlos. Please, can you let me talk? Some of you that are working with, uh, with, uh, I wonder to say Thomas Ankara. Some of you that are working with Ibrahim Traore and you want to sell it, please. Uh, chat me personally so that I can, you, we can collect Link your you. account. We can, I can tell you where they will credit your oh, account. You know, because some of you, you know, you know, you like money more than, uh, Amen. More than the, the, the human race, mm, more yeah. than the people you're called to protect. Okay, this is a great one. Just, I, I wouldn't know what we're saying. Just let's hear from you in the comment section. But I want to say this is really a great word mm -hmm. for the African race. And we see people coming out to stand by him. If not, people that just said, oh, are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Uh, all the, if you go on, they will never see any good thing about these people, about these good people. But we're happy that people are coming out to say, we, we who, who, is the, who is the good people? Who are the good people? The good people that mean the good. The good people are only people that mean good for the people. Yes, my clientele means good. That means you are talking about my client. My clientele loves Africa. They want Africa to be very, very stable. 
the way you are. Don't change. Just be stable the way you are. So that as they are developing there, they will buy from you and develop, then you consume. That's the meaning of good people. It's the narrative as you, is already is not working that way. And that's why even when a uh, Elon Musk came to Nigeria and wanted to I buy had a, a, I had yes, the pursued Elon Musk. Come and why would you, why will you pursue yeah. Elon Musk? Simply because he doesn't want to cite his industry it, it, in Nigeria. Nigerian people are very proud. A whole Elon Musk came to Nigeria. He wants to set up, uh, he wants to start buying lithium. I mean, what's it called? He wants to start buying lithium from us. Money that we would have just used. To, to do party, sorry, and uh, money that would have just you. <laughs> that is actually what's it's like. It's like I'm high on water this morning. <laughs> money, money. <laughs> if you're high on water, me, I'm high on the Holy Ghost. <laughs> money that would have just used to build, to build, what have we been building the last this thing? To build new. I'm trying to remember, look at, remember what you, you have been you building. You built nothing. No, we've been building a lot in this country. To build, to you build, build rebel groups. No, no. We would have build. used the money to build social media adverts. Yes, for the country. Because the majority of our things here is social media adverts. And uh, we would have built water. How are you sounding? What Can you listen doing? to yourself? Do sorry, you have, sorry. Let me do you have a, I think I need to press pause. You need a yes. Now, this money that would have collected from Elon Musk, Elon Elon Musk, Musk that would have planted something nice, would have constructed some good roads on top of the water and down to the ocean, would have done turbine and other stuff, and do a lot of facility and the likes that is lacking in the country. We rejected, you people rejected it in the name of it should come and build its industries in Nigeria. Ah, it's only Nigeria that can try that with Elon Musk. But you know what? I think you people are trying to wake up a little bit that you should build industry. But in the real sense of it, do we really need industry in Africa? Is it not that uh, this place is a farmland that people just come, collect the raw materials, go and develop it elsewhere, now bring it and sell so that the world can be balanced? You know, it's not good that everywhere is just balanced. Because if everywhere is balanced, it's going to cause what we call Mesquite Are you done? Please. I'm done. <laughs> Please, let's hear from you in the comment section. Uh, what do you think of Dr. Arikana's visit uh, to, of the uh, this solidarity visit to Ibrahim Torre? And the question I'm asking is, what other thing are we doing? What other things are we doing? Because she actually said, want to know in what ways can we help you? Yes. So I also am asking that question as Africans in diaspora, as Africans on the African soil, especially those in Burkina Faso, what are we doing to watch the back of this our beloved Captain Brian Tauri and others that are trying to be protective of us? I think that's so important. So till we come away next time, we are rounding up from here. This is the Centros family rounding up. And before we round up, please don't forget to keep your joy because your joy is actually your strength. And you know what? Your strength is your life. I derive my strength from the Holy Spirit. Whatever gives you that strength, make sure you hold on to it. Mr. Centros? And whenever you're watching this, our videos, you know one thing that is sure. Make sure you're watching it with your beloved love, love of your what life. You don't have, what if you with don't your, have... Yeah, and if you do not have a wife, Please look for the next transformer. Hug it tightly. It's the same power, Oku, at the end. That's it. I'm just elder and she's smiling. They are me. Okay. With that being said, we're going to see you next time. Stay cool. Enjoy yourself. Prepare yourself for end of the year resort. Mm. Catch you. Love you. Bye bye. A woof, a woof, a woof. Yes, it's happening, oh, yeah. This.
Art exclusive deal is just for the next two weeks only. When you buy five plots of land, we'll give you one plot free in our beautiful garden estates and prime locations. We have one at Ogun State going for 1.2 million, Asaba 2 million, Enugu 2 million, and these are new locations you don't want to miss at this time. And that's not just all. Upon the purchase of any of this land, and you get free documentation and a 50 kg bag of rice for outright purchase. What are you waiting for? Get, get. Take this number right now and reach out and let's get started on actualizing your real estate dream. Catch you. Love you. Bye-bye.